But okay, I'm losing that. I agree. Uh, do I have to hold it? Can yeah, I you have to hold, hold it very close. Like, like right, right, right here, like here I'm speaking. Uh, you, is that, uh, that, that, that light jumping up or whatever? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it already happened to me, you know. I gave a long interview. I was sweating like a pig and then the guy told, <laughs> sorry, it didn't work. Oh, 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 it. Okay. I said, fuck you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. You have a pretty good track record. But, yeah. but this will not go live so you can manipulate yes. it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's yes. good yes. because yes. I get lost, uh, repetitive, blah, blah, blah. You be my Stalinist feel, feel master. Yes. Cool. Oh, Sens- I is, believe in censorship. Yes. Censorship <laughs> is the most noble thing <laughs> humanity invented. You in the U.S. learned a couple of years ago the lesson from from Soviet Union. You remember... Who was it? Janet Jackson. There was that performance. Yeah, oh, at the Super yeah. Ball, yeah. And then they introduced also in your live sports, uh, uh, how do you call it, when they render it on TV, you know this uh, uh, one and a half second delay. Yeah. So sure. that somebody is watching. But this is the old Soviet invention. <laughs> Always in Soviet Union they were afraid of some provocation. Even if it's first of May parade or whatever, they... I talk too much. Okay. <laughs> I hope they will, so it's arranged, they will allow us to be here. Yeah, the uh, bartender said it was okay. So. Oh, yeah, okay, but yeah, yeah, okay, okay, right. so let's, we yeah. have somebody to refer to. Now we really should, please, <laughs> okay. yes. All right. Uh, sorry, well, it's him or him? I thought, no, who is the boss? Don't mix <laughs> me. I, I am a good slave, but I like to know who right, is I'll, the I'll master. Call, you I'll, know? I'll, 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 I'm the master in this case. I'll be, I'll be a, you know, these guys can chime in yeah. as they see we'll fit. We'll be the daddy. I'll be the daddy here. Very good. So, um, yes, as you've probably already discerned, we're talking to uh, Slavo Zizek. And I'd like to begin by saying one of the things that I uh, most admired you for was uh, back when you were teaching here in New York City at the New School, you famously said, uh, I don't want to read papers, don't give me anything, I hate students, because like the majority of people, they are boring idiots, and I cannot imagine a worse experience than some idiot comes and starts to ask you questions. So, keeping that in mind, have you seen the new Joker movie? And if so, your thoughts? <laughs> I, uh, now, now I will fall even deep into criminal activity. <laughs> I haven't because I have an ethical principle. My country is, as your beloved fr- uh, president would have put it, a shithole of a country, <laughs> small country, which means you can freely download pirate copies. Mm-hmm. Nobody controls it. We are not of interest to big companies. And uh, so I'm waiting for a good copy to be freely available to download. Mm -hmm. And here, here I don't want to download it here, so I haven't yet seen it, but I read about it. And this doesn't prevent me from having an opinion on the movie. (laughs) Nor should it. uh, Because you know that it's about 50-50. Half of the movies I write about, I haven't seen them. No, I'm here a Hegelian idealist. I read about the movie, an idea came for me. Then I'm afraid to see the movie, it may uh, spoil my idea. You see that it's a little bit, for example, the one, Black Panther. Yeah. I wrote about it, I didn't see it. <laughs> Roma, Quaron, pretentious, I didn't see it. <laughs> so, uh, g- but, but from what I've heard, I would be totally, basically, I'm not saying I know the main actor is good, blah, 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 but. Uh, you know why uh, uh, opposed it? Because if I'm informed correctly, the movie tries to give some kind of social psychological genesis of Joker, mm-hmm, the yeah. desperate circumstances, yeah. blah, blah, all that stuff. <laughs> I think with these negative superheroes, mm-hmm. this is precisely the wrong approach. You cannot account for them in this way. They are kind of a miracle. They are, of course, effect of certain causes, but the contingent effect, the majority of people don't become jokers. You know, even if they suffer in the same way. I remember here a line from uh, I think Hannibal Lecter says when they investigate him when he is in prison, how could you become Lecter? He's the, they, uh, uh, the police uh, uh, psychologist uh, looked into what happened to you, what trauma, so that you became. And he, uh, he gives a beautiful answer. He says, nothing happened to me. I happened to the world, in the world. And it's the same with Joker, who is, of course, for me, a positive guy, a good idea <laughs> from the second Christopher Nolan movie. You know, precisely... If you read it, it's as if that movie, I think it's the second Christopher yes, Nolan, yeah. The Dark Knight, where we have the famous joke. Okay. Uh, 
What I like there is that Joker re- often talks there about his origins, but gives a series of inconsistent narratives. Yeah. Once he says this, then he says that, father beat him, father didn't beat him, whatever. And I think this is a nice way of mocking this history of origins. I don't believe in them. I think something always emerges, something new, as a miracle. Second thing, why I think Joker is a good Marxist. (laughs) (laughs) You know, he is not, he is precisely fully identified with his mask. It's wrong to look for the real person behind. It's, and I admire persons who don't play this dirty game That's how you always, that's how you succeed legitimizing brutal dictators. That you say, and you can of course say about anybody. I'm sure Hitler probably liked small children and dogs dog, and famously. cats and whatever. No, of course, if you look closely, every, no matter how bad guy, had at some level a good warm heart for something and so on. That's the wrong approach. The truth is in your mask. What the truth is in what you are doing. So that's why my psychoanalytic teacher, now that Jacques Lacan, my favorite anecdote about him is the following one. Uh, he acted publicly in a very affected way, this complex French phrase. He was playing a role. Then I knew some people who knew Lacan intimately and asked them, okay, do you discover then a private person? He can be funny, ordinary. They told me, no, in private he is exactly the same. <laughs> I like people who know you search in vain for a mask of humanity and so on and so on. I don't believe in this. This is why, let me make another jump. It's all the same line associations. <laughs> why? One of the, these politically correct multiculturalist statements that make me explode in rage is it tends to, uh, an enemy is somebody to whose story we were not ready <laughs> yeah. to listen. Yeah. So I always say, ah, that's good to know. Hitler is our enemy because we were not ready to, you know. And my point is not only that, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that his story was also horrible, intimately. My point is that I think the intimate stories we are telling ourselves about ourselves are usually a fake. The truth is in what we are doing, for example, going to my ex-country, Yugoslavia in general. I was years ago obsessed by the motive that behind every terrible crime, ethnic crime, ethnic lensing and so on, there is a poet, a poet or a religious leader. Because, you know, It's difficult for people to be directly evil. As Steve Weinberg, the quantum cosmologist, said, uh, without religion, good people would be good and bad people bad. To make, you need religion if you want good people make bad things. You have to offer them a strong vision and so on. And that's why, again, I don't buy all this stuff. And that's, for me, the... The truth, of, uh, the truth of Joker. He stands for this absolute identification with the mask. Now you will say, but wait a minute. In uh, Batman 2, Nolan's, his demand is, I will continue to commit crimes in Gotham City till, uh, super, uh, till sorry, Batman takes off his mask. Mm-hmm. But I think the point is not, let's see the real Batman. He gets it that the whole power of Batman is in his mask. Uh, and so he wants to like destroy Batman. You know which movie is the truth of all this? My favorite, Jim Carrey, and I appreciate him very much. I'm very sad that now he goes down. Uh, the mask. Do you see? The, he's an ordinary weak Smoking. guy. He puts a mask. He becomes like a character from can- cartoons <laughs> yeah. and so on. Uh, I all, my, my big dogma is that there is more truth in the mask than it was than in alleged authentic person, whatever bullshit. That's why I'm not against any of this psychological genesis. Mm-hmm. But you know which is for me a true counter-joker movie? Did you see, I quite like it, that Shyamalan second, Unbreakable. Yes, yes There, I did. The point is not mask, what is behind the mask. The point is that the superhero Bruce Willis cannot accept that he is a superhero. Mm -hmm. And his problem is, my God, am I real? He resists it. That's a more interesting topic. But Joker, 
in the movie they opted for this old fashioned genesis mm -hmm. of what happened to him, it's a false approach. But maybe I will see it, although if we, you cut it short, then it's gone. Uh, <laughs> but no, the uh, movie. Bottom that, line, the mask starring Jim Carrey. That's that's that that's is the, the truth that's the of truth. all these movies. Yes. That's the one that I like, and it's even psychologically it's deeply true. I know it from my experience how masks work. Maybe I was an evil father, although my sons <laughs> love me. When one my, my sons was small, I approached him with a mask. He was afraid. <laughs> Then I put the mask off, like, hi, look, your old cunt face of a daddy is here. <laughs> he laughed. Now comes the mystery. So he knew what is behind the mask. <laughs> then I put the mask on. He was afraid again. <laughs> he was right. Psychologically. Yes. Because I think that, in a way, it's a much more refined psychological mechanism. I think the true mask is our everyday. There are all our restraints, limitations, fears. Act. But if you put the mask on, it means I can drop my control. Paradoxically, a mask means I can be who I really am. Even my psychoanalytic friends told me, that's why you can tell things to the psychoanalyst, which you would never have said to those who are close to you. It's a foreigner, you know, you, you gain mm -hmm. a, a distance. And that's why also people like to confess in others whom they don't know. I take this quite seriously, but again... Taxi the drivers, things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, I, I, I never do this. I don't like to confide in general. I'm a <laughs> pessimist here. I hate... I never want it applied to me psychoanalysis. <laughs> my idea is this one. If you look deep into myself, as in any person, you discover some disgusting deep <laughs> shit. All the petty <laughs> egotisms and so on. So, let's leave it there. Let's... Well, okay, I talk the, too much, go <laughs> on. Along those lines, from uh, the, the Joker to uh, the larger conflict of Joker. Sorry, but which one, which one, it, it just a concluding remark, yeah. if you go on in the same series, I have a soft spot more for the third one. What is uh, Bane. Uh, Bane. Dark Knight. Bane is, yes. uh, you know, yeah, you yeah. 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 Bane, this is Socialist Republic <laughs> Manhattan. It's the, same, it's the same as my reading of uh, Black Panther. The only way to redeem the movie is to read it that between the lines, the message is the Killmonger. Bad, Killmonger is Killmonger the good guy. Is the by far, guy. easily the good guy. Easily the good by, guy. Yeah. Unquestionably and, so. But you know how all those, listen, do I live in an alternate world or what that how all my black friends said wonderful black power but the movie almost openly signals this lie do you remember how the only guy that the good black king trusts is the, the CIA, CIA agent. The CIA. No, that movie. Uh, I, I don't get it. How nobody. <laughs> that no movie recast the uh, like sort of struggle for like African nationalism yeah. and uh, sovereignty yeah. and made the CIA their ally in that yeah. struggle. <laughs> it basically retells like the Congo and, and like Killmonger is Patrice Lumumba. Yeah, yeah, precisely. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, but you know which is my. Did you read my piece? where I, I think it found more echo in Europe. <laughs> you know which of my p interpretations along these lines? I gave it the same twist. Okay, it's uh, uh, too low. I watched just some of the episodes. It's too much of the last season. Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Daenerys is my lady. <laughs> Kill them all. Right? <laughs> pretty good, yeah, yes. Yeah. And the, the series is, I think, con you saw the last episode. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you only, the, the series is consciously ambiguous there. Because did you notice how, when after they liquidate her, and when this <laughs> new council yeah. meets, what they, do they decide? S screw ordinary people. The important thing is to reconstruct the army and the brothers' prostitution. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they openly... And you know, remember when one of them said, what about the rights of those out? They start to laugh. Oh, will my dog also <laughs> vote or horse or what? The movie goes... And this is, I think, maybe the only way to redeem some of these big blockbusters. Mm -hmm. To, to see if the, is there may be another opposite uh, message. I stop. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> well, I, I, like I said, I, I wanted to ask you about the, the, the concept of jokes. And I've, uh, I've, I've liked your idea that, that jokes represent a kind of shared obscenity that we have as human beings. And as I'm a, not saying automatically. Yeah. Like, I meet an old dignified lady who means nothing <laughs> bad. Oh, I tell her a dirty <laughs> joke. How about... Smash a how pie about, in her face. I'm not saying you do this. What I am saying is that in my experience, uh, 
jokes. And you cannot define them, you cannot determine their scope in advance, like, oh, but they must be correct jokes. No, jokes are here to hurt, to make fun. My, of people, my solution is uni universalize them. The only way to really fight racism is to universalize it. And maybe you know this line of mine, I remember before nationalist tensions in ex-Yugoslavia, this was the most beautiful moment of what officially was called Brotherhood Solidarity of Yugoslav Nations. We were telling jokes like crazy, but mostly about our own nation. I remember the joke you told, which is, uh, was in, how does a Montenegrin have sex? How, yeah. how he masturbates. Yeah, how does he masturbate? And it's, uh, yeah, but there are others. I will not go into them. <laughs> much, much, much nastier. They would have arrested you and me. But what I'm saying is that this functioned as pure solidarity. Mm -hmm. It functions. No, I think you can tell the dirtiest joke, but, uh, but, uh, if you tell it in the right way, if it's meant ironically towards yourself and so on and so on, it can work again. I cannot even imagine a, a true friendship solidarity with others without sharing small obscenities. And you know, I will give you a proof how my friends accept me at this level. I had a friend who was constant butt of my dirty jokes. And he then knew how to reply. We actually, then at some point, I was really in a bad mood. And when I stumbled upon him, I didn't have the energy to tell jokes. So I just friendly greeted him. <laughs> and I learned that the guy was in a panic. He asked others, <laughs> is Slavoj mad at me? Why are there no insults? And so on and so on. That's how, that's all. I, I think that there is in this... No politically correct control. Did I offend you with this, with that? There is something so terribly false. It is as if you cannot really fight racism. You can just control it tightly, control yourself all the time, look deeper. I use that expression, but how do you know that that expression is not again an insult and so on? I, I think that the true victory over racism would have been when you tell all the dirty jokes but they are experienced not as aggression, but as solidarity. And I think it works. Because also, another thing, I, I hate those left liberals who pretend we shouldn't offend minorities, all that stuff. But did they ever have contact with real low-class minorities and so on? They swim in obscenities and dirty jokes and so on. That's how I always establish a contact with taxi drivers. You cannot even <laughs> mention what happened to me here in the United States with Indians, with all those. The only ones who are harsh, I don't like them. It's almost my own nation. I don't know if you noticed this here. There are many Russians in Europe. They are, can be violent. I try to avoid them. <laughs> they don't know New York. Me, as a complete idiot, already had to guide them, you know. They even don't get this fundamental Man <laughs> Manhattan, Manhattan <laughs> system. They always try to... But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that the message of these insults, it's not, I hate you. It's a kind of a very naive message. You see, we are such good friends that even the worst insults mm -hmm. only reassert our friendship. Well, and, and, and sorry, but I'm not now saying we should just insult yes. others and so on. Of course, this works only in very specific conditions mm -hmm. and so yeah. on and so on. I just think from my own experience, again, that, that there must be something like an obscenity to establish an authentic contact, like cut the bullshit.